you know, at a shelter, you can get, still get to a safe place. You don't have to drive hundreds of miles to get out of those storm surge zones, just tens of miles. So please heed those uh, evacuation orders if you haven't yet. And one more thing before we let you go, I do want to talk about the rain really quickly because looking at some of this data, there could be this narrow corridor of some very, very high rain totals. And looking at the timing, it looks like this could be into tonight. And we know the dangers of flooding, but also the dangers of flooding at night. And here we go. Yeah, who did? It is going to be a long day. What is up, everybody? It is me, Pat, and it's good to be back. Well, technically, it does feel good to be back, but today we actually got a hurricane. <laughs> Heading our way here. I decided this, you know what? I am gonna do a vlog. So if this is your first time, I go by as Pat, or as many would say as some of my subscribers, who that Pat? <sighs> yeah, Hurricane Francine or is out here in this direction, uh heading our way here. So uh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to vlog this as best as I can. The hurricane is not actually supposed to happen until hit us until like, I don't know, maybe four, six o'clock in the evening. It may be later than that. But anyway, I'm not going to make this intro long and I'm not going to make the video as boring as heck, but I'm going to try my best to film it as best as I can. I do hear a couple birds chirp, but maybe it is a good thing. And it's starting to rain pretty good. I better get my butt inside before I get soaking wet, as you can see it. But I'll try to film it throughout the day and kind of give you all an idea what it's like to ride out a hurricane a little bit here. Um, we didn't stay for some of the big ones like Katrina and Ida, and I can go on and on with some of the other ones. But my mom has. She has been through them. Camille, Betsy, you name it. Even Katrina, she rode it through. So she definitely understands what it's like and mom's inside relaxing watching TV now. But anyway, let me shut my trap. Let's just get going and let's film throughout the day and let's see what happens. So right now we're just getting some feeder bands that's coming in from the south here. This is going towards Lafitte. Excuse me, I just ate. <laughs> this is coming from Lafitte. This is actually coming from the golf right here. As you can see the clouds moving in a direction. That is the direction of the of where the wind's probably gonna come from that direction there. Um, it'll probably come from here more later on, depending on where the storm comes in, probably over us. I don't know if it's gonna come this way or it'll be more maybe out towards, say, the west. But uh, fingers crossed here. Hopefully everyone is staying safe here in Louisiana uh, because we all definitely know how this is. We all live down in this area. And for those who live up north, you already know yourself that this is going to come up there by you guys up in Tennessee. I got some uh, friends up, family friends up that way. And yeah, y'all going to get a taste of this also. All right, we'll come back in a little bit and we'll see how the weather progresses here. Yeah, it looks like we're getting ready to get some, uh, yeah, some, look like some strong storm moving in right there, though. It is uh, 1144. I don't know what the wind is. There's the eye. We're right up in here. So we're pretty close. It's moving in now. Let's go check a look outside. All right, it's just rain, no wind, very calm. And normally before a hurricane comes, it's always the calm before the storm. Well, that happened last night because it was very calm. Uh, it seems like a lot of people stayed home on our neighborhood. It is very like nothing yet and normally like if this would have been a bigger storm like these trees would be rock and we'll start getting some like higher winds but uh maybe the dry air is moving in and kind of keeping this thing down here so look if you ever wanted to stay for a hurricane this is pretty much it it's like a really bad i mean really bad thunderstorm some of them can be very very um worse than others i mean depends on the wind uh the wind really don't bother me too much it's the water you really got to watch the water rise and then that is what gets people in a lot of trouble now the wind can be very dangerous also i'm not saying they don't because tornadoes are whew, yeah i'm glad <laughs> that's another thing we got to watch too tornadoes are mixed up in the hurricane itself so we got to keep a sharp eye on that but let me see if i can get on one of my apps and find out what kind of wind we're getting here but uh, 
Not yet, it's still calm. And of course, the storm still, they say it never to about four, maybe six o'clock. We'll see around then. So I'm kind of keeping you guys an update. Uh, I got water all in the inside. We got snacks ready to go. I don't have a generator. And I just wanted to say thanks to all of our um, my subscribers. And, um, and I just want to say thank you to family, friends there uh, for reaching out, saying, hey, if you need anything, let me know. I appreciate that 100%. Thank y'all so much. But uh, fingers crossed, everything is going okay. Um, everybody still got power so far. That's a good thing. Okay, I just wanted to show this to you. I'm using my cell phone, but here is the storm. I was trying to see if I can actually get like a pinpoint of the wind, but nothing yet. As you can see, it's barely coming onto the coast. Morgan City is starting to get a little bit there, looks like it. Uh, Lafayette, Intracoastal City, uh, Homa. But there's the eye right there. Yeah, and it's only, what? maybe it's only at like 11:48, so we still got a little ways to go and this is still got to hit all this area and head up north here so all right now we got a strong we got a strong band that it came through here now it's really coming down pretty good still no wind just a lot of rain so far uh as you can see it coming down my uh, house here pretty good <laughs> gosh man still calm that's a good thing of course the dog wants to play in the rain. Go get it! Get it! Get it! Come on! Hurry up! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at my yard. Look at this. Look. Look at the water just like. Look. Wow, this is my backyard. It is like super. <laughs> look at this right here in the back of the corner of the house. Look. This is probably. I don't know. What y'all thinking? Maybe an inch to two inches of water, like right here. Of course, the back of my fence is like flooded back by the ditch. But uh, yeah, they said they got some strong squalls moving in here. So we'll see. Yeah, I can hear the dog. <laughs> Go get it. Come on. <laughs> Hurry up. You just want to play in the rain. <laughs> you better hurry up. <laughs> Come on, there's a strong squall is coming down. You better hurry up and do what you gotta do. <laughs> After looking on the weather, I was just looking at it. Me and my mom was just looking at it on TV. The eye is basically back this way. The Wallens is back behind us here. Um, this would be like a Cat 3 or a Cat 5. This would, this would be a lot worse right now. I mean, this would still probably at least maybe maybe 50 to 60 maybe more than that maybe it could be 70 to 80 depends because the eye is fairly close it's really not too far away from the from the coast there so uh, they said they had some um strong squalls coming from back in this direction we'll see all right there is a squall heading our way uh we just saw it on the radar the winds are starting to pick up just a tad it looks like the eye may pass over my house i don't know yet but if it does we're going to film that um, that way, if you ever seen the eye of a hurricane, there you go. Uh, my daughter right here, she's at work. Hello, my love. <laughs> so, uh, Reagan, they just said that the, the eye may pass over the house, baby. Well, it just made landfall. It just made landfall. There you go. Hurricane Center said it just made landfall. Huh? There is a squall getting ready to head over us. So we don't know. They said it could be like 40, 50 mile an hour winds. That is very minor to compare to some hurricanes like katrina back here by our house man we were i'm looking at the trees look like they were about to swirl i think katrina that they were rocking like well over 140 back here so and i had damage to my house for katrina and i'm gonna kind of show it to you while i'm out here in the wind i'm gonna show you exactly on my corner of my house so right here on the corner of my house now i got siding and everything i had this all this was ripped up um back this way here all that was ripped up that was kind of messed up right up in here. Um, that piece is coming out. I got to nail that back. <laughs> it's like a siding. It's all siding. This went through Idaho with no problems. I had no issues at all. Let me show you around the back of the house what how much damage I had also. So right here on the corner of the house in the back, this is the back of our house here. Uh, this was really like ripped off. All this was like pushed up the house. The roof was all lifted up and we had damage. Now, luckily I got a new roof out of it, but my insurance covered it and it went from there. Uh, still, still very minor, nothing yet. We'll see. 
Nothing yet, Harley. Let's go back to the front again. We're going to focus on this tree. This is going to be our focus point when the winds start picking up very much. This is uh, this is a big pecan tree that's right across over this way. That thing is massive, and um, we're gonna we're gonna focus on this area because this is probably where most of the wind's going to come in from this direction here. Now, I don't know if the eye is going to pass over us. So we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, I don't want it to. <laughs> But someone's gonna get it. I mean, and I, I'm watching on the news now, and the guy was down at Duloc. And boy, that wind was kicking down there a little bit, and it's just coming into offshore, and they're probably getting up the gust, maybe 90, maybe over 100, I don't know. But we're gonna wait and see here. I know there's a squall heading our way. They said they got one heading into the city area. We're about to find out here. All right, we got a little bit of wind. There's the, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> show you what the wife cooked check this out oh look at that look at that it looks so good that's delicious all right so <laughs> we're pretty close to the eye that's what they said um we're getting gust up to like maybe 40 it's probably going to get a little bit higher as it go it is uh almost six o'clock well, maybe a little bit right after six somewhere around up in there um nothing major still got power which is a good thing Man, that's that's a plus there nothing nothing really bad yet so i'm happy i really am i'm glad we just didn't get anything because well, i'm gonna tell you this would be a cat cat three to a five i'm getting some major winds right here and that's something you don't want to go through Right, here it is this is this is the, this is the bad stuff here for us now nah, it's really coming in i got the dog out here with me too <laughs> she's like oh i ain't going out there uh we're gonna film this a little bit and see what happens because uh this is the intense stuff you can see it way on the roof over that way you see the rain coming it's just like a really bad thunderstorm i'm surprised we ain't got some strong winds in this right now i really don't but Thank gosh, I, I, I'm be honest with you, thank goodness we are really not getting severe, like over 120 mile an hour winds, because boy, that is, that would not be fun right now. It really wouldn't be. Uh-oh, Reagan. We got some bad runs. We got to go in. <laughs> we got another wave coming through here. We cannot. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at it over there by the house jeez man is my is my lens wet let me see hold on i'm trying to dry it so y'all can see oh here we go yeah now we got some hurricane force here i'm gonna back up just a little bit we're underneath our underneath this here our overhang here All right, I'm looking down the neighborhood down there. I can, I, you can see the wind is coming off the uh, the houses down that way. Really good down that way, and we can hear like a rumble of the wind coming here. Me and my daughter are standing outside. Right now. <laughs> Did the lights flicker? Been oh, they've been flicker. Okay, so they've been going in now. Uh huh. Yeah, you could you could see it. Look, look on the GoPro. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I can hear it. <laughs> like I said, we only get gust. I mean, no, it's a sustained dance, to that Ray. <laughs> you gonna come on out? No. You want in? There's Cookie. Cookie, this is your first hurricane? No. Oh, it's a second. Okay. Oh, Ida, huh? That's right, Ida. We had it since 2020. That's right, we had you for Ida, huh? <laughs> you got one again. You got it. <laughs> she saw that. She's like, nope, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, 
Hey, you can. I don't know if y'all can hear it on a video. When I when I put this up on the video, I'll let us know if you can hear it. So you can hear the rumble coming through the trees through that direction there. So. That light without yeah. Yeah, we're just we're still good right now. But Katrina, this down our street. Oh my gosh! Let me tell y'all something. Down the street over there, don't tell them we get wet now. Down the street, we uh, there was a broken telephone pole in the middle of the street, and there was trees everywhere. It was it was pretty rough for Katrina. I'm not gonna lie, Katrina was like rough, man. That was a bad one. Ida was pretty rough too because a neighbor stayed over there and he said, man, he goes, that wind was rocking us and I bet it was. We were in Disney. Yeah, we didn't have much damage from Ida though. No, we didn't have, Katrina we had a lot more damage. We lost a lot of food. Uh huh? That's food. Yeah, we lost a lot of food. We sure did. We lost, so we didn't get back to the house for like, uh, it was well over a week. It was like, oh, here we go. This is a good, this is a good gust. What, you want to film? Oh, you want to film it? Here we go, Ray. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got some intense stuff coming out. Was this looking at the rear now? We got some, we got a heavy squall heading our way. We're under a flash flood for the next three hours. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. And they said it looks like the eye now is covered up, but the eye probably would have passed right over us, like I said. But I think the eye covered up now because it's just, it's look like the storm is just losing its punch, but it's still got a little kick to it here. Cookie. <laughs> Tell everybody hello, Cookie. Y'all nervous, baby? I know. It's gonna be over with. Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. What? Just about. No, that wire is hanging. That's from that. Light up there. That, that was from previous. That wire is not. Yeah. That was always been like that. That's what the parish was like right there. They, that thing's always been disconnected. Damn, look at that bird up there flying. <laughs> I don't know, I'd survive it in some of these high winds out here for them. Okay. Especially for birds. Okay. Ah. We're getting some more powerful gusts, I can tell you that. Knock on wood, still got, still got the power, Reggie. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, we ain't get the tail end of the storm yet. And we just got there. We just getting the east side of it right now. Well, I'm, like I was, I was telling other folks, like if this would be, say like, um, how would you put it? Say like Katrina or one of them, we wouldn't be standing here right now. This thing would be so intense, it would be like, whoa, man. <laughs> Wind would be like pushing us back inside the house. Like you would have to board up your windows and everything. Like it's it's that intense. But hey, that's the way it is from Texas all the way to Florida, all the way all gosh, I wanna say all the way up to Maine, maybe. Get hurricanes, I think, all the way up there. Everybody along the uh, the ocean and Gulf Coast, you know exactly what I'm talking about if you're watching this. And people up north, I mean, I know y'all too. I mean, y'all get it when it comes way up there. Y'all get the aftermath and all the rain and it just makes it worse. It causes a lot of flooding. Ah, crapper. Here we go. Wait, is that just the light going out or is that the... Wait, no, the light is like, I don't know if that light's about to go out though. We thought it was lightning at first. Huh? I think our light's getting ready to go out. Turn off the switch on it, babe. Yeah, I think the light's going out. I think water might have got in there. All right, no biggie. We're gonna turn it off. I thought the power was going out. Just <laughs> 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 shit. 
We hope it not, man. We do not want that. We ain't got no generator. <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta do this. Everybody just lost power. It is pitch black. I just seen it. Oh wait, they're coming back on. Oh my gosh, we got lucky. There was a big flash. There it goes again. <laughs> Shit. I just heard it right back there. It's backing in this direction. Unplug the PlayStation if you can. Crap. Well, y'all can't see anything, but other than what my flashlight can see. Ah, boy. I don't know if that's a substation or what. Yeah. Well, this ain't good. <laughs> It'll be fun now. <laughs> All right, the power, the power hit went out, but it's back on now. Boy, the winds are rocking. We were just sitting in the house looking at the news just now, and you can't see me, but man, that song going. <laughs> I mean, it was like, it, it just made a whole rumble towards our house. I don't know, what the heck? We saw two big flashes. Y'all saw it in the video, and you can't see me pointing, but it was back, back, um, <laughs> That way, so damn. We get the tail end of it now, man. It is rocking out here. It is about 10:30, maybe to 11 o'clock, and uh, I got my flashlight out here. The power came back on, but uh, whoo, the wind is like, yeah, it's 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 doing it's it's. Uh, there's the wife, everyone. There she is. <laughs> you can barely see her, did you? The wind is like, let's go out here a little bit. Let's let's go out in the street. There is hardly any rain, but I'll kind of show it to you. I know it's hard to see and it makes no sense, but the wind is rocking. There's some people down the street here. Jeez, man. You can hear it. Probably 60, maybe 60, 70 mile an hour. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I'm just guessing. You can hear the wind. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, the, the filming is not the best because of the so dark out here should I grab my cell phone all right let's go back inside a little bit and probably end this video even maybe we will see God, gosh <laughs> what dude the, the back door just slam on me because of the draft on the outside all right good morning it is the day after the storm uh not a whole lot of damage. We did lose the power as you see in the video. I'm drinking my cup of coffee in my favorite, one of my favorite cups here. But uh, yeah, the power head came on late. Well, you could say early, early in the morning there. So thank goodness everything is good. Our family house is all good. Minor, not like major, major winds. That was really bad, but hey, it is what it is. That's a hurricane, but I'm glad we saved. But as you can see, look around here in my front lawn, just leaves, really no damage everything is fine we're back to normal again thank goodness right i mean it's just it's mother nature that's the way it is but uh yeah that is a hurricane that's what it's like to rob one out <laughs> uh it can be a lot worse those who've been through you could say probably tornadoes you know exactly what i mean but uh yeah all right, we'll see how plans go. We're supposed, we're supposed to have a lot of plans this Saturday and Sunday. I don't know if Louisiana RetroCon's gonna be on down there in Morgan City because they took the direct hit. But uh, again, thank y'all for watching. And uh, this hoot at, we'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye for now. I'm gonna go drink my cup of coffee and kind of get ready and kind of finish my vacation a little bit here. Have a good one.